Welcome. In front of me is a Techno Kmon A18 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, uh, I would normally show you that the device is locked, but this uh, skin of the device uh, ripped straight from like Infinix is quite garbage enough to the point that you cannot even progress further to the lock screen to verify if you're a genuine user. So great job, you completely failed at making a skin on Android. Uh, so anyway, uh, so that's basically as far as I can go. Even if I would know how to verify this, I cannot go any further because even though I'm connected, uh, I can't go any to the next page. But I can show you that it is locked only by this icon right over here. So there we go. Now, uh, for this process, we will need a couple things. So we will need another device, Android One, and we will need a SIM card. So the device will be needed so we can download a, a couple applications, uh, specifically three, two from, from our website and one from Play Store. And what we will basically do is using the one from Play Store, it allows us to transfer over data to this device. And then we'll just transfer the two applications to this phone. So that's it. And then SIM card will be used to uh, replace the internet connection, which will then allow us to go to the next page. So let's get started. So in here, uh, let me quickly open up my little page. And here we're gonna progress throughout the setup process till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. At which point, once you sign into your Wi-Fi, which you do need to do, even though it doesn't really do much uh, in terms of like, the necessity of it, uh, it will give us this option right here with the QR code. When you press on it, it also allows us to select nearby and then and select turn on, need help sharing. And from here, we're going to tap on the three dots and then uh, let's see. I'm gonna select share article and we're looking for share X. Oh, there we go, the last one. So X share many. So I'm gonna click on it, select allow, while using the app, and that's it. Here we are prepared, we have already prepared this phone for the next step, so we can just lock it and move it to the side. Next thing is our secondary phone. So on here, you want to start off by going into your Play Store and search for XShare. If I could only type it correctly, that would be great, but luckily Google did fix it up. As you can see, XShare, transfer and share all. So that's what you're looking for. Simply download it. I already have it because it comes pre-installed with the, the phone itself. It's Infinix kind of uh, sharing application. So I already have it. Can see right over here so i don't need to download it not sure why it's allowing me to do it on play store maybe there are like two different versions if i have a problem i'll then download the one from play store anyway now next thing is we're gonna navigate to our web browser we have chrome or am i blind There it is. So in the search bar, you're gonna navigate to hard reset.info. There you go, that info. Then tap on the three bars right over here and select download. And in the downloads search bar, you're going to search for uh, Android 11. There we go, as you can see, Android 11 search, and it will only give us one option right here, FRP bypass Android 11. Select download, scroll down, 
download again. Download anyway. You don't need to open it up, you don't need to install it. I'm gonna now go back, select the search field again, remove Android 11, and we're now looking for FRP bypass login. And again, it shows us with only one result. Select download. And as before, again, download. And there we go. So that's already good to go. Next, we're gonna open up uh, our XShare mini application. Now, when you click on the scan right there, you will need to allow access to a couple of different things. Now, actually, I'm going to install the Play Store just to see one specific thing. Because most of you most likely won't be using uh, Infinix phone for this. So, I know for a fact that on different devices, there is way more things that we need to agree to. And they're kind of like located in a different place. So. I'm going to download this one specifically just so uh, you can see the exact same application. Now, we do need to grant it everything, unfortunately, which is quite annoying. And here, once it opens this up, uh, simply find the application, which will be right at the bottom. Toggle it on here. Go back. Select transfer now. Um, I'm gonna go back and select the search. And as you can see, there are significantly more options here that we need to agree to. So again, I'm gonna click on each one of them, open, enable, go back, open, allow, open, while using up, enable, open, and there we go. And now we can scan. So now we're gonna bring the other phone back in view and simply scan the QR code. Then these two devices will connect to each other. And here, I'm gonna select that we want to send, while here we're gonna select receive, send more, choose APKs, and select the two APKs that we have downloaded. So that's going to be the FRP and whatever the other one is named, select send, it automatically installs them, so that's great. From here, we're done, so we can just close this and move over just to the locked device alone. And then now put in our SIM card. Unfortunately, there is nothing holding these cards in place, so I need to flip it over like this. There we go. It's telling me to put in the SIM card pin. One, two, three, four. Okay, so SIM card is now unlocked. Now, I'll mention this SIM card does not work, actually. Uh, it's uh, It's been turned off a while ago, so uh, it's technically a dead SIM card, but the phone still detects it, so that's good. Anyway, from here, we're going to select uh, the FRP bypass browser. Then you're gonna select three dots and select browser sign in. Okay. And in here, you're gonna simply log in with your Google account uh, of your choosing. So I'm gonna be using mine for this, obviously. Actually, I think it was something else. quickly check. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, I'll put in a password for this uh, account. Okay, so as you can see, we have now uh, signed in to our own Google account. And what we're gonna do now is quit. And we'll just simply back out to here. And we're gonna select use a mobile network for setup. Next. Select that you have read and agreed to this. It looks like we might need to have a functional SIM card. I'll see in a second what will happen. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we do need to have an actually functional SIM card, otherwise it won't let us go to the next page. So I'll be right back uh, with an actual card that works. Okay, back with another SIM card. So let's pop this one out. And let's try again. So as you can see, this one does have 4G connectivity. That's not very good. Actually, I think we went to the next page. As you can see, it's telling us that it's getting our phone ready now, even though it couldn't connect to network. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it worked this time. So we can see right here, it's telling us that we have added an account. And if you go back in the video, you'll see that this is the same account that I have literally signed into. Now, in your case, obviously it's gonna tell you, give you the name of your account that you have logged into, the one that I said of your choosing. Um, and yeah, from here, we can just kind of go to the next page because what happened is the account that we have logged in with overrid the old account. And now the phone thinks that we have just simply logged in with an account. And it just, because of that, skips the portion where you need to verify because it already sees some kind of account logged in. So anyway, we're gonna select got it and we can now finish the setup. Now there's still one last thing that we'll need to do before you go clicking on the video. And uh, that thing would be, we still need to perform a factory reset of the device strictly through settings.
Okay, so like I mentioned, there is one last thing that we need to do. So let's open up settings. From here, we're gonna scroll all the way down to system, reset phone, and then erase all data, erase all data, and then press on this one last time, which will perform a factory reset of your phone. Now, I'm not gonna go over this on the video, uh, just because it, this portion, once you press on this button, is just a lot of like black screen and a lot of the logo, and after it's finished, you're back at the setup screen of your phone. So from there, you can set it up however you want. Uh, the phone will be fully unlocked at that point and you can do whatever you want. But this is the last thing that you wanted to do because a reset done through settings of the device removes any kind of protection on the phone. So that will include the pen pattern password that was previously used and the Google account that was also previously used, which both of them are still present on this device somewhere in the system. So the device could go back to being locked if how you do something specific. But anyway, that's the last thing that I want to do. Now, with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.